Hi, it's me, Corey, your favorite German in the South, or one part of Wandering Nights. We're back with a new adventure. We came to Wellington for a food tour and the coziest b and B I've ever stayed at. There's a light from a million... Should we venture into the sun and get some coffee? Sounds good. It's really good. Have you tried yours? Now that we've had our mystery coffee, we should go and check out the inside of our B&B. It's <laughs> a loud creak. Come on in. Ooh. Oh wow, look at this Jason, it's so pretty. So much light. Ugh. I want to stay here longer for the weekend already. Love the vibe of this place and all the dried flower art. And the bouquets and the fireplaces and the wooden floors. Look at this really great view into the garden. It's dinner time and I'm really hungry. Nothing new there. I'm always hungry. And we're on our way to a very special place. Apparently it's one of the best restaurants in the South, according to Southern Living Magazine. I'm not sure what to expect because a lot of times southern food is a little bit too fried for me. But I'm hungry and let's go. It's good. It's nice and chewy. A little salt. Crust is good. I don't know if Corey approves, but I do. <laughs> oh my god, this little tomato. It's so sour, but it's so good. I can't get over how good this place is. It's like the most delicious vegetable I've ever eaten. This is so good. So we're staying at this really cute and artsy and minimalist B&B in Wilmington. It's called Dreamers Welcome. And I'm just blown away by how nice it is. It's like one of those historic old houses and they redid it with nice floors and furniture and it just feels so nice and calm in here. You should definitely stay here. Mmm, oh, so good. Nice avocado. Good garlicky taste, balsamic rejection. Today I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. I'm really gonna put my trust into another person with this. Jason's looking really confused right now because he doesn't know what I'm talking about, but it's gonna be a special moment. And you're gonna come with me. So what are we doing? We're getting coffee. Yeah, that sounds normal. But it's gonna be Barista's choice. <laughs> what? Like anything they want? Yeah. That sounds crazy. So let's do it. 
So we went to Bespoke and my barista's pick is delicious. I think it might be a, a maple pistachio latte with oat milk. Not super sure. And for second breakfast, because I'm a hobbit, we went to Wake and Bake, which according to BuzzFeed is North Carolina's best donut. So let's see. So good in Maybelline. this neighborhood is it almost makes me feel like I'm in Europe with all the nice buildings flowers cute coffee shops I've been away from Germany for so long that every time I see brick half timbered houses or anything remotely old I get really excited every person in Europe right now watching this they actually also have a fig tree here which is pretty cool and it's an inside joke between Jason and me because he can't tell figs and dates apart. So whenever I see one or the other, I say it's the other. So this is a date tree, Jason. So I was really excited for tonight because we had booked a private dinner, but you know what? They forgot about us. It's a bit of a disaster in my world. I'm already very hangry, but we're gonna walk as fast as we can to get some tacos. And we're getting a private brunch tomorrow instead, which is good because breakfast is my favorite food. So now I'm excited about two foods. Tacos for dinner, <laughs> brunch tomorrow. <laughs> Perfect. Can you walk any faster, Jason? Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to eat this. Oh, that tomato sauce is really good, so spicy. like a little oasis back here in this courtyard. You can hear the birdies and the wind and the flowers. I mean, you can't hear the flowers, obviously. <laughs> but it's, it's really nice. It really reflects the vibe of this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I had to do that the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so Jason had to sneeze. <laughs> His face was hilarious while I was talking. <laughs> Something like this. <laughs>